running is a straightforward and highly beneficial form of exercise that is easily accessible. Getting into a regular running routine can be challenging, but the rewards are worth it. What happens to your body when you start running every day? Check out the video until the end. It'll be interesting. Let's get started. Firstly, running makes you happier. Studies show that just a 30-minute run can improve the mood of someone with depression. And you don't have to run fast to experience this effect. Even running at a slower pace can boost your mood. Long-distance running also triggers the release of endorphins, giving you a sense of elation known as runner's high. Running helps you burn a lot of calories. It's a calorie-intensive activity. For instance, a 70-kilogram runner burns about 20 calories per minute at a moderate pace. In 30 minutes, that's a total of 366 calories. And this calculation applies to running on flat terrain. If you run against the wind, uphill, or pick up the pace, you'll burn even more calories. Contrary to popular belief, running is good for your knees. Research shows that runners are less likely to experience knee pain compared to non-runners. Running helps maintain a healthy body mass index, strengthens leg muscles and bones. When you run, the impact on your feet stresses your muscles, tendons, and ligaments, making them adapt and grow stronger. Other activities like walking or swimming, which lack this impact, don't provide the same muscle and bone strengthening benefits as running. Running promotes a healthy heart. Aerobic exercises, such as running, strengthen your cardiovascular system. Remarkably, you don't need to run for long periods to reap the benefits. Just 10 minutes of slow jogging is enough to reduce the risk of cardiovascular disease, but it's important to run consistently every day. Your brain becomes more efficient with running. If you find yourself forgetting things or struggling with memory, put on your sneakers and go for a run. Scientific studies have shown that aerobic exercises, which increase your heart rate and make you sweat, enhance brain function. Running helps you sleep better. In a small study, researchers found that people who ran regularly at a moderate pace for at least five times a week, for 30 minutes, experienced improved sleep quality and mental well-being. Running boosts your immune system, reducing the likelihood of getting sick. Regular aerobic exercise for 30 minutes or more lowers the risk of dying from various forms of cancer. Running gives you attractive legs. The lower part of your body, including your hips, calves, and buttocks, benefits greatly from running. Additionally, running engages your abdominal and back muscles, contributing to overall body fitness. How can you run every day safely? Follow these simple rules to avoid running injuries. Wear proper running shoes. Increase your training load gradually. Incorporate cross-training activities like swimming or cycling. Perform exercises that target different muscle groups. Warm up before and stretch after your workouts and consider working with a coach to correct any technique mistakes. Many beginners wonder if it's better to run outdoors or on a treadmill. Let's delve into this matter. Most runners reside in urban areas. While it would be ideal if the weather was always pleasant, that's not the case. Unfavorable weather conditions can disrupt your training plans. In such cases, indoor gyms with treadmills provide a controlled environment, which is the best place to run. Psychologically, running outdoors on the street can be more enjoyable as you feel the movement. However, several factors come into play. If you live in an area with polluted air from cars or factories, running on the street can expose you to harmful substances that negatively impact your health. In such cases, running on a treadmill in a gym with filtered air is preferable. If you're lucky to live near a park, running outside allows your body to benefit from oxygen saturation. Outdoor running also makes it easier to complete your training and vary your speed if the conditions allow. Given the opportunity, outdoor running is recommended. By the way, friends, do you run? And do you prefer running on the street or on a treadmill? Share your thoughts in the comments. It'll be interesting to read. Also, I recommend watching other videos on my channel. You can find the links on the screen now. If you enjoy this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. See you soon.